James and Victoria, the church shares your joy tonight, welcoming you both and your family and friends today in the presence of God our Father and of the church gathered that your life together, which will be established in the sacrament of marriage, will be a lifelong partnership. May the Lord grant you your heart's desires and fulfill every one of your prayers. The happiness of our gathering as family and friends of Victoria and James situates what we're doing within the presence of the larger church that celebrates what God is doing in the lives of these two. our eyes on that fact, which is the reason for our coming here, that they are, what they are, who they are, has been a blessing to us. And now we're here to bless God in this act of the church as they give to one another the sacrament of matrimony rooted in their baptism, a son and daughter of your families a son and daughter of the church, love following upon love. united in sacramental marriage, that ceremony takes place at a particular time in a particular place, publicly signifying visually what is evident to Victoria and James, both receiving and giving the sacrament. So here's the truth. The author of marriage is God. Victoria and James, what we're doing is greater than just you both, greater than your cup of love, as great as that is. We acknowledge and hold before God the new covenant of love and faithfulness with the church, which you both will live out through the love you share. Jamie, thank you for being my best friend for the past five years and wanting to be my best friend for the rest of our lives. Thank you for always encouraging me to be the very best version of myself. I absolutely love and adore everything about you and can't wait to be your wife in just a few short hours. You are my best friend and the love of my life, and I can't wait to see where our life as husband and wife takes us. And I absolutely can't wait to see you at the altar. Love, Victoria. I've often thought that love is a word never holds the power we give it that the deed possesses to love someone. St. Paul to the Corinthians tonight says, love does not brood over injury, but rejoices in what is true and lovely and good. Love hopes all things. How strong a love is that? And the Gospel of Mark echoes that tonight. Jesus saying, they're no longer two, but one. Where else but in the bond of marriage is that kind of faithfulness of God's love so displayed 
throughout all of our lives, all of this year, and into eternity, the loyal fidelity and uncompromising commitment of God's love for us is everlasting. This is your marriage, one that is desired, prepared for, celebrated, and lived in. I, James Everett Friedlander, take you, Victoria Jolie LeBlanc, to be my wife. I, Victoria Jolie LeBlanc, take you, James Everett Friedlander, to be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. To love you. And honor you. And respect you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. May God the Eternal Father keep both of you in love for one another, that the peace of Christ may dwell in you and abide always in your home. May you be blessed in your children, have solace in your friends, and enjoy true peace with everyone. And may Almighty God bless you both and all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. I present to you Mr. and Mrs. James Freelander.